As we cherish Kristen and Andrew's shared moments that have brought them here, we are excited to continue looking ahead to what is still to come. And on this special day, we are here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't necessarily always a pre-written happily ever after. Instead, love is the shared experience of writing your story. It's not any particular moment, not even this one. It's every moment, big ones like meeting online, saying I love you for the first time, moving to Charlotte, getting engaged in the park of love in Peru, but mostly little countless ones that come in between the big moments falling asleep next to one another, making dinner together, spending holidays with your families, talking about how your day went after work, and just being in the company of one another. Or even the first moments that include Andrew ordering calamari on their second date, thinking he was going to impress Kristen, only to later find out that she hated calamari at the time. But fast forward six years, and Kristen now likes calamari and is marrying Andrew. So you see, these everyday moments fuse together into one big experience. And even though this experience is so incredible, words fail us when we try and explain the concept of love. But that's just the way it is with love. It's meant to be felt, not described. We see this in the fact that some people write stories, others write poems, or maybe even songs about love. And even though we describe love in different ways, and even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know what love looks like when we see it and we see it here today. A ring is a fitting symbol for a wedding promise. It is a circle with no beginning and no end. Love without end is what we hope to achieve in marriage. As the ring is placed upon your finger, remember that it is your love for one another that will guide you down the pathways of your future. Andrew, if you would please repeat after me. Kristen, I give you this ring. Kristen, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and devotion. As a symbol of my love and devotion. I offer you my heart, my hand, and my love. I offer you my heart, my hand, and my love. With all that I have and all that I am. With all that I have and all that I am. Kristen, if you'd please repeat after me. Andrew, I give you this ring. Andrew, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and devotion. As a symbol of my love and devotion. I offer you my heart, my hand, and my love. I offer you my heart, my hand, and my love. With all that I have and all that I am. With all that I have and all that I am. To make your relationship work will take love. This is the core of your marriage and why you are here today. It will take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what is best for one another. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow from and with each other. It will take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged to today. By the power vested in me as the president of Real Crew, I now <laughs> pronounce you Andrew and Kristen Sussman, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Kristen, on May 15, 1991, Jen and I welcome you. That day, I felt so proud to call you my daughter. Today, 29 years later, I'm so proud to be your daddy. Kristen, today you and your lucky soulmate, Andrew, great name by the way, buddy, <laughs> are embarking on a new and fulfilling life together. May all your wishes come true for both of you. Love and respect each other. Support one another in the good times and certainly in the bad times, buddy. Because <laughs> there are some in there. <laughs> Chrissy? <laughs> yes, you are stuck with that name forever. I hope you know that you are such a special person in my life. You make me laugh on the daily. You inspire me to do better at my own life. And I'm so overjoyed that you have found someone who loves you in a way that you love them. You both have so much to look forward to as a married couple, and I cannot wait to see all the amazing things that come your way. Andrew is um, probably one of the nicest, smartest, 
you know, if not the smartest kid I've ever met. Um, no matter the topic, he'll have a useless debate in his back pocket ready to go. <laughs> no, but uh, Andrew, look, you're, you're my best friend, you're my brother. I, I idolize you in so many different ways. I look up to you in so many ways. Um, and Kristen, you're just as intelligent as him and probably the only person in this room that can prove him wrong. So, we're excited to have you, finally. Kristen, I think Andrew made up his mind the minute he met you. The funny thing is, there was an inside joke. Andrew would have this little saying with all his friends throughout high school. He would say in an Australian accent, I want you to be my engineer. And I think all along, he knew he would marry an engineer. So now, for some parental advice. Laugh, be spontaneous, take a road trip, kiss each other goodnight and goodbye, but most of all, have fun. Everybody wants to live on top of the mountain, but all the happiness and growth occurs while you're climbing it.